we don't think, think about, about fish, fish having, having these kinds of philosophical, exploratory ideas, ideas. But they, they know, know that there's, there's a world outside of their aquatic world, world. And, and that, that gives, gives them a philosophy of what the world is really like. For us to explore the world of submarine life, under the water life, is, it's almost like going to another universe. Good morning. We are here at the banks of the Mad River with Real Rebel. He fishes with the real on top. We're here to learn more scientific techniques on how to improve your fishing. Are you sure you need all this equipment for well, just to fish? You know, this is part of the scientific process. You've got to have all your equipment, all the necessary technology available. And we're kind of exploring a whole new way of looking at things. It's always kind of awkward for some folks. Well, you are the maverick scientist, so I guess I would expect something like this, how you would figure out how to go fishing. It's, it's in my reputation. You're just supposed to hold that up to get some readings of the atmospheric environmental elements that make up this environment. Okay. Hold it steady. What are you finding now? Chemical composition of the entire ecosystem here. It's a, it's a bit complicated, I understand. But you got the air, rocks, vegetation. You have you and me contribute to this ecosystem in very small ways, but they're important. Okay, am I done holding this now? You're done holding that now. Thank you. Okay, can I get my fishing pole now? Please. You have to understand that these fish that we're studying not only just live in the water, but they are aware of the atmosphere, the air above it, the geology. They look up at the stars at night. They see the sunrise, the sunset. They're aware of the lunar cycles. These, uh, all these factors go into the world of the fish that we're learning about, and we're learning more and more each day. Okay, here we go. The first thing we need to do is let the fish know that we are here. Well, wait a minute. He's like, when I fish, I don't want the fish to know. It scares them away. So we have to overcome that fear. We're trying to communicate with the fish. So we're, we need to approach it as friends. First step is to make the fish feel at ease. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's okay. get their attention. Okay, here we go. Professor. Let's Professor, can you? What? Can you turn off that noise? Ah! Uh, professor, stop, 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 stop. What the heck is that all about? That's to get the fish's attention. It's going to scare the fish away. Au contraire. <laughs> These fish react in different ways, with different sounds. A low humming sound is actually attractive to fish. They're curious. Ah, uh, Professor, I've had enough of this. I just want to get out and do some fishing. I get it, I get it. But first, before you get out there, you need to put on these ear protectors. I have them too, because we're going to be producing some sounds oh. that are going to be a little all right, disturbing. All right, I'll wear the ear protection. Yeah, here we go. Okay, what we're doing right now is trying to get into the mind of the fish. People don't give fish enough credit, because why did they come to the surface anyway? They want to look around to see what's outside their limits. They're they're not that different than we are. They're not that different than humans. So what we're trying to do is create this environment which sounds like what they have underwater and have them explore above surface environments. Professor, 
I didn't even get a single bite. I think you know, all that noise that you're broadcasting now, they're just scaring the fish away. We have another option here. I'm, I'd like for you to go back out there one more time, uh -huh. and we're going to give this our best effort to communicate with the fish. You're going to communicate with the fish? On their level. We're in pursuit of knowledge here. I'm in pursuit of a fish. Not the knowledge. We can combine the two. This. In it, fish, there is knowledge. It's just getting in my way. All this time we've been doing this equipment, I could have been out fishing the whole time. I probably would have caught a fish with all the time we've been spending on this stuff. We're looking at the long-term success rate. we got to think, not short-term, like in the next few minutes, but weeks, months, years down the line. So go back out there and we'll give this one more shot. You know what, uh, okay, I'll go out fishing, all right? We'll try another one of your science experiments. It's, there it is. Here is the stream, here's the river. The fish are there, you're here. Let's do it. All right, all right, I'll go try again. Yes, okay. So what we've got right now is the real rebel out there in the river, kind of disturbing the environment of the fish. So they're a little unsettled, a little uneasy. So what I need to do is talk to the fish in a tone of voice that will comfort them to calm them down and return them to their natural, peaceful environment. We'll do this with the help of the underwater speaker down there. Are we ready? Hello, fish. Be at ease. Be one with your environment, the water in which you live. In your water, there is oxygen. You know, you that, know that, I know that. I know that. So, so breathe, breathe in, in the oxygen, the oxygen through your gills, gills and, relax. and relax. Be the serene, tranquil species that you are in this beautiful environment. An environment, environment where, where we humans, humans love to, to investigate. There's, There's something, something more, more to, to this than just this. what meets it's the eyes and ears. And touch. and touch. There is, there is a, serenity a serenity that you fish live in that we would, we like, would like to know, to know more about. about. Now, I know this is a bit of a shock to you, but the, the man, man in the river, in the river is, is helping, helping us, us learn, learn about your environment. Professor! Uh, 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 I got a big uh, one, Professor! Uh, okay, you're okay. I, I take back everything I said about your scientific fishing techniques. Okay, I'm bringing it in. I'm bringing it in. Wait a minute. I got to set my drag. Uh, oh. Just a stick. <laughs> Professor! This isn't fishing. This is science fiction. Or science fishing. <laughs> Science fishing, oh, whatever. You know what? I'm going to wait for you in the car. You go do your science experiment. Okay. Well, thank you so much because you've brought us a long way forward just by that. All right. Well, have fun. I'll be waiting for you in the car. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Mr. Real Real Rebel. We appreciate your efforts. You know, <laughs> it occurs to me that Real Rebel just coined a fantastic new term for what we're doing here. This is not science fiction. This is science fiction. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you, Real Rebel. So I wanna thank you. I wanna thank all the folks at the university, all across the world, and the fish themselves, of course. Thank you for your participation, and we'll see you next time. Fish, I know you're upset. I know there's a lot going on. And the real rebel does not mean to harm you. He's tossing things into your river and he remains above water. Be the serene, tranquil species that you are in this beautiful environment.